All right, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone, and sincere salutation to the Akim pushing this truth and sincerity. <clears throat> this is going to be um, a part two um, of the video that I did uh, called The Most High Dwelleth Not in Temples Made with Hands. All right, and this is just a picture that I found on Google. All right. Um, basically showing you, you know, the different temples because a temple and a church is basically the same thing. The definition is the same thing. It's um, a place of worship, all right, where you worship a deity or a god or deities, okay? So I'm going to go into it again, you know, proving that, that the Lord is not in temples made with hands, but he is, he's with his people, that's Israel, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and start again in the book of Acts 17 and uh, 24. Acts 17 and 24. Because, yeah, you got to read the scriptures to, to, you know, precept upon precept to find out where the Lord dwells at. You know, where is he dwelling at? Okay, and he's not dwelling in temples. Um, that is also known as churches. This is Acts 17 and 24. It says, The Most High that made the world and all the things therein, seeing that he is Lord of heaven and earth, dwelleth not in temples made with hands, neither is worship with men's hands, as though he needed anything, seeing he giveth to all life and breath and all things. Okay? So the Most High, all right, he made the world and everything that's in it. All right, he, he he doesn't dwell in temples, and we know that temples are are churches, man. It's just it's just another name for a church. All right, a building. All right, because the twenty fifth verse says, "Neither is worship with men's hands." That's talking about there's no physical or material thing that you can create that the, that the most you can worship the most high through that, because he made the world, he made all things, and in the twenty fifth verse it says, "Seeing he giveth to all life and breath and all things," so the most high gives life. And breath. So how are you going to make something that has no breath and has no life? Okay, they cannot help you, cannot save you, cannot do anything. You know, so for these wacky Christians to think that, you know, the Most High dwells in their churches, they're totally, they're totally uh, misinterpreting the scriptures. They're not understanding. All right. So the second scripture I want to get is in 1 Corinthians 3. And 16, because we read the Most High dwelleth not in temples made with hands. But where does he dwell? This is 1 Corinthians 3, 16. It says, Know ye not that ye are the temple of the Most High, and that the Spirit of the Most High dwelleth in you? All right? So the temple of the Most High is, 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 is you, is us. You know, us brothers, man. Us, us brothers bringing out this truth. The real truth, you know, and through the spirit we know, but these wacky Christians that I don't know, because even if they were to watch this video, they could not understand. The Most High dwelleth with his people. He doesn't dwell with idols. He doesn't dwell with things that are made up. And that Jesus Christ, that Jesus, that Cesare Borgia, and that um, that church, that denomination, that temple made with hands, he doesn't dwell in that, but he dwells in who? In his people, the elect. He dwells inside of us. Lord willing, you know, we are part of that elect. But he dwells inside of us, man. He is in us. I'm going to read it again. This is 1 Corinthians 3 and 16. It says, Know ye not that ye are the temple of the Most High, and that the Spirit of the Most High dwelleth in you. All right? So the Spirit of the Most High dwells in us. So I'm going to go and uh, continue in the book of 2 Corinthians, because I wanted to make a point, man. Uh... So like in 2 Corinthians 6 and, 6, 6 and 16, it says, and what, uh, so like, yeah, this is uh, 2 Corinthians 6 and 15, it says, and what concord hath Hamashiach with Belial, or I'm going to read it verbatim, and what concord hath Christ with Belial, but we know that that word uh, Christ is really Hamashiach in the Hebrew, and we know that the Lord's name is Yahawashai in the ancient Hebrew, and we believe this, okay? So what concord hath Christ with Belial, and what part hath he that believeth with an infidel? So, what you know, you Christians, you don't believe, so what do you really, that you don't believe in the word, 
you really don't believe in these scriptures because precept from precept, you know, you, you you don't you don't see that it's a hoax that Jesus Christ, that's not his real name, and he was a Hebrew Israelite, and he spoke Hebrew. Okay, he was from the tribe of Judah. These these are this is this is um, you know common biblical knowledge. So what what concord or what what does what does what does the Lord have to do with Belial, man? You know what I mean? Belial is what? Let's look it up. Worthless or wicked, a name of Satan. So what does the Most High have to do with what? The wicked. All right, we know that Esau, the so-called white man, is the wicked, you know, and we know that he's Satan in the flesh, and we know that, you know, that doctrine that he pushes upon the people is, is also wickedness. And what agreement had the temple of the Most High with idols? All right, so what do we agree with what you're talking about? The temple of the Most High, right? We, you know, we read it in uh, 1 Corinthians three sixteen. The ye are the temple of the Most High, and the Spirit dwelleth in us. So what does, what does, what does the um, the true believers of the Lord have to do with with um, idols? For ye are the temple of the living power, as as the Most High hath said, I will dwell in them and walk in them, and I will be their God, and they shall be my people. All right. So the Most High dwells in us. His Spirit is in us. He walks with us. And he is, he is our power and we are his people. Okay, we know him. We know who he is. We, we know through the spirit that he has given us about these lies, man. So what, what agreement have, do we have with, with, with Christians? We don't have no agreement. All right, because the cat's out the bag, man. This little video. Hey, Skip. Hey, guys, the gig is up. I'm not the real Jesus. As a matter of fact, the fella's name wasn't even Jesus. He had a Hebrew name. There wasn't a letter J until a few hundred years ago. <laughs> With that being said, I have fooled the whole world into the biggest sham of all time. The name and identity of the real fella has been taken over by me. <laughs> there are thousands of paintings of Jesus, and they don't even come close. Jesus was the creation of the Roman Catholic Church, which served to replace the real Bella, who probably looked more like Morgan Freeman. <laughs> but who cares? The truth doesn't matter. As long as you pay your tithes. Hey, did you know that Pope Alexander VI commissioned Leonardo da Vinci to reinvent Jesus in the image of his own beloved son, Cesare Borgia? He felt that the Vatican needed a makeover because the real fellow wasn't too appealing to the general public. So, voila, here I am, the modern version of the fake Jesus. <laughs> Got you again. You saw me. I actually came to... All right, so, you know, according to 2 Corinthians 6 and 16, it says, And what agreement hath the temple of the Most High with idols? All right. So what, what agreement has, has the children of the Lord with idols, man? And that's an idol, man. Temples that worship Jesus Christ, those are idols, man. Those, the, the, the idol is, the, is, the, is, is um, the temple and that fake Jesus, because we know Jesus Christ came from the tribe of Judah, and we know um, um, Judah is... Uh, the so-called Negroes, man. It says, uh, 1 Corinthians 3 and 16, Know ye not that ye are the temple of the Most High, and that the Spirit of the Most High dwelleth in you? All right, so what agreement do the Israelites, the Hebrew Israelites, you know, and mainly Great Millstone have to do with, you know, you non-believers, which are you Christians, man? You know, what, what concord hath the, the, the uh, Hamashiach with Belial? Because we know the Lord's name was Yahawashai, okay? And, uh, you know, Christ means Hamashiach, man. So you guys totally blaspheme the name, um, you know, because Jesus is really just a white man's God. He just took it, flipped it, sold it to the people, blinded them, so on and so forth. OK, so there's just a little lesson, man. You know, the temple of the Most High is with his with his elect, man, who are Israelites from their respective tribe. OK, and you can read um, the true de uh, depiction of the Lord. In Revelation 1 and 13. All right. And starting at the 14th verse, his head and his hairs were white like wool, as white as snow, and his eyes were like as a flame of fire, and his feet unto fine brass as if they burned in a furnace, and his voice of the sound of many waters. 
All right, so hair like <clears throat> wool, skin like brass. This is a more accurate depiction. You know, there's on the top in the ancient Hebrew, that's Yahweh on the bottom is the son's name, Yahweh Shai. Okay, the most high in his son, the, the Messiah, the Hamashiach. This is what he would look like, dark skin and white woolly hair. He was a so-called Negro, man. We know this, all right? <clears throat> so, you know, we're not fooled by you by you Christians. So this is just another spiritual jab at you Christians, man. You know. So I'm going to go back to 2 Corinthians 6 and 16. It says, uh, 17 verse, Wherefore come out from among them and be ye separate, saith the Lord, and touch not the unclean thing, and I will receive you. What's the unclean thing, man? It's that worldly doctrines, man, the worldly things, the things of the world come out of that, man. Because that's that stuff that's poisoning our people, man. You so-called black Latinos and Native Americans. And we are the children of the Most High. We are the temple of the Most High. The Most High dwelleth not in temples made with hands. All right? Uh, 2 Corinthians 6 and 18. And I will be a father unto you, and ye shall be my sons and daughters, saith the Lord Almighty. Okay? So, basically, <clears throat> you got to get out of that thinking, man. You got to get out of that, um, that, uh, the ways of the world, you know. <clears throat> the last scripture I'm going to get, I'm, it's in the book of Ephesians 2. Let's see. 2 and uh, let me start at, let's see. Uh, 19. No, therefore ye are no more strangers and foreigners, but fellow citizens with the saints and of the household of the Most High. All right? So when you come into this truth and Yahweh Bashim Yashai gives you this knowledge and this understanding, you're no more a stranger, man. You're not a foreigner to the commonwealth of Israel, but you're fellow citizens with the saints and of the household of the Most High. The Most High knows who's in his household. He knows his elect. He's waking up his elect. And that's something that these uh, Christians, they cannot... They cannot grasp that this is a spiritual gathering of the 12 tribes of Israel who are the so-called blacks, Latinos, and the Native Americans. The scripture, if the spirit of the Most High was dwelling in you and you are part of his temple, then you would know this. You would know through the spirit, you know, who you are, your, you, know, what, you know, what your heritage is, what respective tribe you are from, and know that, you know, the, the, the ways of the Most High. You wouldn't be a stranger, but you so-called Christians, you you... You tribes, you know what I'm saying? You jake this in these, these churches, man. You guys are lost, man. You know, you 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 Negroes, you Hispanics, you natives, man, <clears throat> you guys are the 12 tribes of Israel, man. You guys are you guys are the saints. All right. But you know, until then you are still foreigners and strangers. So I'm gonna read it again. It's Ephesians 2 and 19. Now therefore ye are no more strangers and foreigners, but fellow citizens with the saints and of the household of the Most High and are built upon the foundation of the apostles and prophets. Okay, there's that there's that false word right there. Yahweh Shai Hamashiach is what it should say. Himself being the chief cornerstone. Yahweh Shai is the chief cornerstone. All right, so, you know, when you come into this truth, you are built upon the foundation of who? The apostles and the prophets, man, of the ancient times and of now today. Because, you know, this thing is all... Everyone's standing back in their lot, you know, so, um, you know, Christians might not understand this, but hey, you know, if it's given to you, you know, if the Lord gives it to you to understand, then, you know, hey, so be it. But if not, well, then it wasn't meant for you, man. You know, so it's Ephesians 2 and uh, 20 and are built upon the foundation of the apostles and the prophets, Yahweh Shai himself being the chief cornerstone. All right. So Yahweh Shai is the, he's the chief stone. He's the chief um, he's the main, he's the main part of the foundation. All right. In whom all the building fitly framed together groweth unto a holy temple in the Lord. So all of the citizens, all of, all of the, the saints of the most high and the household of the most high, they're built upon the, on the foundation of the apostles and the prophets. They learn from the apostles and the prophets of today and of the holy scriptures of the ancient. Okay. And, um, and, and they're and they're fitly framed together, grow with unto a holy temple. So you know, all 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 us, Lord willing, you know, we be of that number, man. We're we're growing into that holy temple that the Lord wants us to be, man. Fit building a fitly framed. If you, if you ever been <clears throat> around carpenters who frame buildings, man, all the wood, 
all the nails, you know, everything that goes into building a plate, a house is, is, it takes time, but it's also, um, it's, it's, uh, impenetrable, man. You know what I mean? With the Lord being the chief cornerstone of that foundation, he's, he's the number one building block, you know, and we're all, um, parts of the foundation. We're all little blocks. Okay. It says in whom ye are built together for an habitation of the most high. All right. Through the spirit. So, you know, we're being built up through the spirit of the most high to, 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 to habit, inhabit the most high's, um, his spirit and his knowledge, man, and, and, and be all in together in one. And that's what the Lord is doing. That's what he's raising up the Hebrew Israelites to, you know, go out to the highways and hedges and bring back their people to the true word. So this is just a little, um, video on, um, you know, the most high dwell of night and temples made with hands that we are the temple of the most high. Okay. You know, Lord willing, you know, we be part of the elect. All right. So I, I pray this video was edifying. And um, to the next time I say, Shalom.